स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल हैव बिकम फेमिलियर विद द सेफ्टी रूल्स एट होम टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू अबाउट वट सेफ्टी मेयर्स शुड वी फॉलो एट स्कूल नाउ चिल्ड्रन ओपन योर बुक ऑन पेज सेवेंटी सेफ्टी रूल्स एट स्कूल लुक एट द गिवन पिक्चर ऑफ अ क्लास रूम पुट अक्रॉस ऑन ईच स्टूडेंट हु इज नॉट फॉलोइंग सेफ्टी रूल्स Look at these boys. They are jumping on the benches. So put a cross on them. Now look at this naughty boy. He is running around in the class. So again put a cross on him. This girl is pushing the boy next to him. So put a cross on her. This boy is throwing things on others. He is also not following the safety rules of class. so put a cross on him now let's start reading isn't it dangerous to throw things in the classroom yes it is underline word dangerous and write down meaning harmful now follow these safety rules to prevent accidents in the school now number 1 do not throw things at each other in the class this means you should not throw eraser copy pencils at others as these objects may hurt them come to next point number 2 do not run around in the classroom as you may fall now number 3 do not climb on the desk number 4 do not push anybody as he or she may get hurt number 5 use school equipments carefully underline word equipments and write down tools these equipments are meant for your use and moreover these are very costly now come to the next point be careful of the corners of desks and benches underline word corner and write down edges these edges may harm you and cause bleeding now next point number 7 do not play with sharp objects like pointed pencils compass paper cutters blades etc as i have already told you that these objects can harm you and your friends now come along to the next page number 8 point do not hit anyone next walk in the corridor instead of running underline word corridor and write meaning long narrow passage number 10 point never take two or more steps at a time on the stairways underline word stairways and write down steps use each step and hold the railing if possible underline word railing and write down banister this means you should walk slowly in the corridors as well as in the stairs as you may get injured now students let's revise the first question how can you prevent accidents in the classroom number 1 do not push anybody number 2 do not climb on to the desks number 3 do not throw things at each other now next question should we follow the instructions of our teachers we should follow the instructions of our teachers as this will help us to prevent the accidents at school i hope you all have understood this topic tomorrow i will continue with the next topic till then kindly read the chapter and revise questions and terms thank you